Zanardi, Ribeiro, Vassar, Johnstone trying to move up. Swings to the inside. Well, at the front, Ribeiro moves far to the outside. Challenge for the lead. In through turn one, off at turn one. Look at Ribeiro way up by that wall. Well, that could be that he's just let the car have its head. Just don't scrub those tires down. Just let it go a little bit, and it'll be a little quicker. Look how much faster he is down that straightaway. He's all over tonight. And there goes oh, Ribeiro. Whoa, great what a good pass. pass. Around the outside and lifting this crowd to the front. They love their Brazilians, don't they? The crowd goes nuts as Ribeiro takes the lead, but here comes Zanardi back to challenge. He ducks in behind him as he comes across the line. Down through the gears, heavy on the brakes into turn one. And he's got him. He's going back at it. And look at Greg Moore. He's trying to get around Vassar. Oh, look at the other right. panel. Greg Moore to the outside of Vassar. Moore to third for the moment. But maybe only for the moment. Great, great team. You know, I would have thought they would have taken it a little bit easy here in the early going until they found out about it. Apparently, three laps, they knew everything they needed. Now, try to look at Greg Moore moving up. He's moving right up. He's going to go, oh, and look at that coming off the corner. Greg you Moore see? tries to make his move now. Moves inside of Ribeiro. But did you see Ribeiro's back in jump out coming off? We're going to see this all day long. Look how the field's all backed up on him, and Moore's found the line. Look at that. Right around the outside. Outside pass around Ribeiro. Moore to second behind Zanardi. You know, I talked to Moore before, after the warm-up this morning. These guys are very confident. Their car feels great. He says he's got no problems. The car's handling fabulously. He's pumped up. Well, when you look at some of these shots, though, watch the rear wing. It'll give you a good idea of how much the cars are bouncing over the surface here. See more hop around there. He builds up to over 200 miles an hour down the front stretch. You can see the car really darting around. See it under braking there? DeFerrin working at the back of Vassar. Battle for fourth there. This is great racing. I mean, look how they're all bunched up. Everybody's just in a line. Everybody's trying to find a way around the car in front of them. There gives you a good idea of the surface and how the cars handle it. Reminds me a lot of Milwaukee. Flat, got a lot of texture to the surface. Really have to be on top of the race car. And also something the viewers are seeing right there is you've got, as you mentioned, a D-shaped track. The turns two and three aren't a factor. Those things are flat out. They can go three abreast through there. DeFerrin challenges Vassar for fourth. While you see them serpentine behind. DeFerrin down to the inside. And he gets around Vassar to the cheer of the crowd. One thing you can sit up here in this booth and know is when a Brazilian makes a pass, if he's got it, the crowd lets you know. Watching behind this battle as well, you see how everybody tries to use the draft. The draft is really available here. Well, it makes a, a big factor on this long straightaway and for the first time in an Indy car. One car with an engine going, it looked like. And no, oh, against the wall. That looks like uh, Mark Blundell. Oh, he looks like he's okay, but he's, uh, he's moving in the car. Mark Blundell, a stream of smoke. I don't know if it was because the engine went or because he was already losing it. Hard against the wall, but he climbs out immediately, and, of course, the yellow comes out. So we're in our second yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, his motor was definitely going... Somebody was very lucky there. That looked almost... Oh. Like, ooh. Oh, that's that, a lucky impact. That's a lucky impact for him to walk away. And I'll tell you who else was lucky. Was it looked like his well, teammate? Well, maybe not so lucky. Let's hope he's okay. He's down on the ground. And that's the, of course, the IndyCar safety team. Dr. Steve Alvey was the man over him. Look at him pass right behind his teammate. Tucks his nose under his wing. Not a good angle to hit the wall. Car does what it's supposed to, though. That disintegration is good. That's energy leaving the car. So as the car hugs the wall, this is at regular speed. Watch that car. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm, I'm sitting up here and haven't been in that position before. That really hurts. That yep. really hurts. Be very careful about uh, 
Mark Blundell's condition now. He climbed out of the car under his own power, but seemed to collapse by the edge of the track. Safety crews keeping him there. You notice how they position the vehicle, too, to protect uh, the work they're doing from uh, any of the other cars should anything else happen. He's definitely got a problem there. Something definitely goes wrong. It might have been that smoke we saw coming out of the back of the car, but uh, he didn't even slow down. That's unbelievable impact he took there. So back under yellow, full caution, 12 laps complete. Zanardi was challenged for a moment, but is back in the lead again. We'll be back. 